Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Ivy's Gaming Tech. This is our fourth episode, and today we're going to be taking a look at some awesome new gear, mainly the X570 Creation Motherboard from MSI. And uh, I'm super excited to take a look at this and go over all the features and details. Thanks so much for stopping by, guys. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you want to see more in the future. All right, so for anyone who has seen previous episodes, you know I purchased the Ryzen 3900X and I put it in my old X370 motherboard, and that's in the machine behind me there. And that thing's been running really awesome, um, but I'm missing out on some of the cool new features that are available for, for uh, Ryzen 3000, namely the PCI Express 4.0, which isn't exactly necessary, but I might as well get you know, the most out of that new processor. So I went and I picked up this motherboard. So let's go ahead and get it on box and see what we get here. All right. I'll go ahead and put this over here for now. So starting off, we'll look at the motherboard itself. Is a nice looking board. All right, so here we have the board, guys, and this thing is no joke. Uh, we're looking at a 14 plus 2 phase VRM, um, actually, maybe 12 plus 2. Um, but I want you guys to take a look at that IO uh, on that machine. That thing, there are so many USB ports. So many USB ports. Um, we have three 16x PCI Express slots, one, two, three 1x PCI or four PCI uh, that's 1x slots. I was hoping we'd get a 2x or a 4x slot, um, just because I have a capture card that requires a 2x slot. Um, six SATA ports, all kinds of PC, uh, all kinds of um, USB 3.1. Gen 2 and also 3.0 and looks like one two USB 2.0 headers just crazy power delivery um, really nicely designed board super excited so let's take a look at some of the other features on the box here So yeah, extended heat sink, really good cooling, Intel Wi-Fi 6 AX200, so that's the new Wi-Fi 6 that's out, um, 10 gigabyte LAN, Lightning Gen 4 M.2s, we get two of those on there, we have a good audio solution, yeah, 14 plus 2 plus 1 phase uh, VRM with a heat pipe that connects all the way from the VRMs and going down into the chipset as well, which will help provide cooling for the M.2 slots, the chipset as well as the VRMs. Um, just really nice features on this board. We also get some other really cool stuff in the box here, so let's go ahead and take a look and see what else we get. I'm going to put the board over here really nicely. Got to be careful with the board. So let's see, we also get some cool accessories. A nice little bag with all kinds of this looks like get a MSI gaming badge. These are our SATA connections. It looks like a RGB extension as well. I 
I'm not sure what that is. It's a little two pin. Oh, it's a sensor. That's a temperature sensor in that bag. Some more RGB extension cables. And that is another sensor. So it looks like we have some cool sensors. I'm not sure if I'll be using those. And then some more SATA cables there. Oh, we left one in the bag. And that looks like just a fan extension cable. So nice little pack of wires there for in case we need any of that. We'll pack all that back up here. Now this is, I think, yes. So this is what I'm really excited about too. So this also gives us an additional adding card. So it's a nice little bonus to get something like this inside of a motherboard. Um, you normally don't get extra cards and extra things, but you know, they added this guy in. So this is an M.2 expander. So this thing is heavy. This is all, all high quality steel to cool down two additional M.2 drives that will go into one of our PCI Express slots. Um, this does require a PCI um, power cable from our directly from the power supply. So that's interesting. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be super awesome if we ever wanna expand and take advantage of that Gen 4 PCI Express M.2 storage solution and put some more storage into the machine. So that's awesome to have that and this gives us a hard drive LED. Okay, so this would go to the, the motherboard LED um, hard drive light into this and then this to your case light. So if you're, I mean, if you really want to have your M.2s make your hard drive case light flicker, which I really don't understand. I never connect my, I never connect the uh, hard drive case lights anymore now that they're not spinning. <laughs> that in there correctly. We'll never ever get this all closed up, right? Let's see, what else do we get here? Oh, we get more. Uh, this is our um, antenna for the Wi-Fi 6. So that's a nice beefy antenna there. And let's see here. And that's an empty, that's an empty little box there. So that's everything that's in the box. Um, that's the, that's the owner's manual there. We'll have to make sure we read over all that. So let me talk to you a little bit about what my plans are for this motherboard. So what I, what I plan on doing, um, this has two M.2 slots on the board itself. Uh, what I would like to do is install two NVMe PCI Express uh, 4.0 drives into here and then RAID 0 them together. Um, I, so I did pick up two one terabyte uh, NVMe drives that are PCI Express 4 compatible and I know that's like super overkill. I'll never really take advantage of it um, but you know it's it's when you, when you start getting addicted to the tech, it's hard to uh, say no. So um, let's see. Yeah, so I'm super excited for that. I did pick up a new case because this is an EATX motherboard. So this motherboard will not fit into the case I currently have. So that's a little bit too small. So I did pick up an H700i NZXT. It's basically the spiritual successor to the S340 Elite that I have, uh, but it does support extended ATX motherboards. Um, so I picked that up. I picked up a new power supply because, you know, I was running a 650 watt, I now have an 850 watt. Yeah, so I'm going to be doing that build uh, in that case on the channel in the future. We're going to be putting all these parts together. We're going to be taking some of the main components like the processor and the graphics card out of this machine. I have an old processor that can go in there and I have a 1080 Ti that's going to go in there. That's going to become my living room rig. And I think I'm going to move all of my VR stuff to the living room. Um, and focus on this machine on my live streams. And then the VR, I, I, it was fun live streaming it a little bit. I feel like it's more something I wanna do for me and having the open space in the living room will be a little bit more accommodating than trying to squeeze it all in the space behind me here. So I appreciate you guys so much for stopping by and checking out this incredible uh, motherboard we have here. And um, 
I hope you guys stick around, subscribe for more. I cannot wait to do this build live with you guys. I may do it as a live stream, I may record it as I build it, um, but I look forward to seeing you guys in the chats, in the live stream. Um, make sure you hit that thumbs up button if you guys enjoyed this content, and I will see you guys all next time. Have a great day. Um, I'm really bad at unboxings.